Hello, in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to use div tags with CSS styling rather than using tables with CSS styling or other type of styling. Um, so let's get started. What I have here, I already have a file name, div.htm, you can name it whatever you want, and it's just got some stand, you know, the standard HTML elements, the head elements, body elements, whatever. So this could be done in many, many ways. Uh, you basically choose your style. You might create a template. You might even be able to name this div template instead of div tutorial. But what what you want to do, uh, usually with tables, you would do like an opening and closing table. And then you do, you know, your rows and your columns. And it, sometimes you just give yourself more work than you really need. So with divs, Basically, they're like this. That is a div. Think of div as like a container or a cell in a table. You can put whatever you want. You could put any element in between there. You could put other divs in there, which you, you will do. And so think of it that way. The one thing I like about divs is you can take a div and position it like in the upper right corner of your screen like you know up here and you, know, you can make another div and make it down in here so there, there's a lot you can do with divs where you might struggle with tables with doing that so uh, let's just ID this I always like to ID every, you know all my element all my div elements because especially if you use an external style sheet or or a embedded style sheet up here or an inline style sheet, excuse me, you would put that up in here between the head tags. Or, so, But if you're all embedding, you know, embedding them right in here, but that's what I'm going to do, but I'm still going to do the ID because it's habit for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a div here and name it outer. And then I'm going to do the style. So I'm going to, of course, do some styles here to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to border my divs to make it a little bit easier. We'll just do one pixel in width for the border. We'll make it a solid border, and we'll make it a an all black border. Okay. So now, if I save this, and in my Edit Plus here, I do a quick browse. Right now, I just see that line because there's really no content. Let me just go in here and put hello. And there you go. So you see you have your border there and whatever I put in here. Now, I could put an element in here. It's not like if you're stuck where you can't put an element in there. So you see you could do it. And right now, it's you know we basically have it set to just expand to what the content is. Now, what you might want to do is in your styling... Or what I do is I like to set the outer width. And I like to do, um, you could do 768 pixels, you could do 600 pixels. Um, for now I'm going to do a 600 pixel width. And, and the reason why 600 pixels is the standard, there used to be a standard with web designing where most users have an 800 by 600 resolution on their monitor. Now, I believe, you know, or you could believe the new standard probably is the 768 pixels. The reason why you want to do this is you never want to horizontally scroll on your screen. Meaning, if someone goes to your web page, they not only go up and down, but you don't want them to go left and right. So, but so we're going to we'll leave it I guess we'll leave it at 768. This way, if we put hello in there, as you can see, it's still going to show that, even though there's no, really no reason for that. But So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a div ID. So I'm going to try to speed up a little bit here because, you know, this is on YouTube and I only have a certain amount of time here.
course, the width, 768, and the height there. And then I'm going to do a border dash bottom. And we'll copy and paste that. course you're not really going to see under there because there's no content so now the last thing we need to add in here is a style called clear and we're going to clear both and what that actually will do is that will set it so there won't when you're doing your divs it won't put it on the left or right side of it it'll make it all by itself this comes very apparent um, you know with the header and if you have a footer so now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the navigation on the left side and the content on the right. So, we'll label this nav styles equal to that. We'll say width. We'll say 150 pixels. And one thing you're going to have to do here is the float um, style here, the, the style. Basically, you're going to tell it to float left. And the reason you, you want to do this is, is if you don't, it, it's going to basically separate them and it's, it's not going to look right. If you want those to be side by side, if you want to have two things side by side each other, you have to use the float left for that to be able to work. So then we've got we'll say this to be six hundred pixels. And I'll save that. And there you go. So basically you have three containers here. Three containers. You have your your head area here. Which let me see here. Ah, uh -huh, that's why. I was wondering why that, that height style went to. There you go, that's better. Got your header here, you got your navigation here, and then your content here. Now you could go I'm gonna okay so now you have your footer and you're not gonna see did you notice there you really didn't see an issue that is due to the fact, because the, there was not much content there, so there, you wouldn't see an issue. But here you would want to do the clear, uh, the clear both. So, um, due to time restraints, I'll just end it right here. Um, so here's the final content. There's some basic into how to manage and work with div elements instead of using the uh, tables. Um, I really didn't show you the re you know big reasonings, but you, you'll kind of get the footing and you, with seeing how this works, it'll be good. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. Thank you.